Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about labial bows. We're going to talk about Schwartz expanders. I like this photo here because, first of all, it's showing you how to turn the Schwartz. By the way, if you want to know more about Schwartz's, today I can't say that word, go into my YouTube um, site and put the keyword in Schwartz or RPE or expander and all that will come up. I have tons of videos on how to design them, how to turn them, etc. By the way, this is a really great key. Um, but today we're talking about modifications to the Schwartz. Should you add a labial bow to your Schwartz? Um, and that's a personal preference. I don't normally put them on, especially in crowding cases, because in crowding cases, we actually want the front teeth to move forward. Um, to unravel the crowding as we go. But I do like to put them on in spacing cases because then I can kind of tighten it up. Otherwise it's really gonna flare. Um, so I can tighten it up a little bit. The only thing that can happen um, when you put a labial bow on is that you tend to get more expansion towards the back and less towards the front, which is fine in a spacing case because you probably don't want it towards the front anyways. But in a crowding case, you want to get the unravel or get the expansion um, additional space in the where the crowding is right so it's an option um, if you want to design it that way just ask them for it all right thanks so much